All right. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Big waves out there. Big, I think I come on here just for the waves. I just want to see your waves. I just want to do the waves. It always like boosts my mood. What a fun way to start the day. A little silly, but big fun. So we have a great word this morning. This was a fun one to prepare for as well. And the word is visualize. So what's the definition? Form a mental image of imagine. And to visualize something is to be able to see it in your mind. So visualizing is like imagining, both involve us picturing something, but while imagining is more of wondering and exploring, when you visualize something, your hope is to make it real, right? It's to make it real. real. And the quotes that I found that I just really thought were powerful were, Visualization is daydreaming with a purpose, and that's Bo Bennett. And when you visualize, then you materialize, Dennis Waitley, and then you can't do anything that you can't picture yourself doing. And just when I was kind of thinking about that, I thought, goodness gracious, isn't that true? And I think back to when I turned 40, so I definitely need to get back into this. It's been six years now. Um, but when I turned 40, I set a goal for myself to run a half marathon. And I really couldn't imagine what that looked like. So I had to like imagine running a mile and then imagine running two miles. And I kept having to just go a little bit further, a little bit further in my mind so that I could actually go a little bit further with my body because I'm not athletic. Every single one of you know that I'm not an athlete. Um, I have warmed a lot of benches because I really like teams, but I never got to play. So I've warmed a lot of benches. So to do something that was athletic to me, I really had to visualize it. it took a big mental um, leap for me. So using visualization techniques can help us focus on our goals and make our desires get um, realized. So I love that. So what it, how, how does it do this? So first of all, it activates our creative subconscious, which um, allows us to get creative and get these creative ideas to realize our goals. It programs our brain to more readily perceive and recognize the resources that we will need in order to achieve those dreams. So, you know, it helps us kind of grab the different things that we need. It activates the law of attraction. You know, I say that we can manifest things every day. And unfortunately, a lot of times we manifest the negative stuff, right? Like, oh, I'm so tired of being broke. And guess what? Then we get more broke, right? So it allows us to attract more positive things into our life. And then it builds our internal motivation. So when you picture yourself, right? So we all know Tracy Turnberg, or hopefully everybody on here knows Tracy Turnberg. And he did us all an incredible service when he was showing us Tahiti, right? He did some Facebook lives. He did some different things where we all got to see him in Tahiti. And guess what? I want to see Andrea in Tahiti. So I'm using his mental, you know, or his visuals to make my mental picture so I can visualize myself there. So the key to a effective vis visual. Okay, guys, we're going to try one. It's early here. Bear with me. <laughs> I've got marbles in my mouth this morning. So the key to effective visualization is to create the most detailed, clear, and vivid mental picture that you can, and then focus on the possible. So the more vivid that our visualization is, the more likely and the more quickly we will get it. So with that, I'm going to hand this over to you, Coach. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Andrea is such a trooper, y'all. She is traveling with her sister. She's in uh, Las Vegas. And she said, y'all know Andrea is so kind, so she didn't want to disturb her sister. Guess where she's doing the call from this morning? The bathroom. So thank you for your dedication, Andrea. That's awesome. So let uh, me just clarify. I am in a chair. Like okay. I'm not, I'm in a chair. <laughs> okay, you're not on the commode. Okay, here we go. All right, well, uh, Andrea used this quote and I was gonna start with it as well, is, is visualization is daydreaming with a purpose. You know, that's such a cool saying to me. Um, I, I actually, when I was doing, it's the first time I've actually uh, seen that but when I was working on it this morning. You know, when we visualize something, y'all, we see or we form that mental image. Visualization is the practice of imagining 
what we might want in the future. It's almost like it were true today when we can really do a great job of visualizing things. You know, when we visualize something, think about this, all five of our senses are involved. If we're locked in on the visualization, sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing, it's all involved. You know, so two examples, let me give you. If you close your eyes now and you're walking down the beach, okay? Just imagine walking down your favorite beach or taking a hike in the mountain or just your favorite, wherever it is. You literally could visualize, feel the water on your feet, smell the ocean, feel the wind. You know what I'm saying? You see all these wonderful things. So that, that's easy for us, right? That's an easy visualization practice. Like Andrea said about Tahiti, it's easy to do, but locking into that to get to that goal, which I'm going to tie that into the visualization here just a little bit. It takes a little bit. So, you know, seeing our progress of hard work will help us get to that ultimate prize at the end. But again, we got to lock into it. Visualization can and will help our self-confidence. Imagine yourself right now. Let's say you're at a big new age conference or you're at a big uh, teacher meeting. You're at a big conference. Imagine yourself stepping out, visualize yourself stepping out on that stage to a round, a roar of clapping and yelling. So what does that make you do? It gives you confidence. And then you go out there and you can do it. It's just a simple process. You know, some more ways to use our visualization to reach goals is whatever goals that we're striving for right now, create that picture. All right, maybe this is a silly practice, but just think about this. If you want a new job, you're thinking of that company right now. Go to that place, take a picture in front of that company. You want a new car? Go to the car dealership, take a picture in front of that car. You want a new home? Go to your favorite home. Take a picture of yourself in front of that home and then look at it every day. Also, write down these goals and incorporate it with the visualization practices and that's going to help you reach it in an even faster way. You know, it's just something that you have to be able to do every day. Everything that I read actually even encouraged you to do these things twice a day. So write down your goals as you visualize your dreams. You know, together you can achieve amazing results when you take those two things. It can change your beliefs. It can change your assumptions and opinions about the most important person in your life. And who is the most important person? You, when you're working on these practices. It can really help you. Visualization, when done daily, with focus and belief will get us to new levels of motivation. And we will find ourselves doing the things we normally would not do. I want to end with this quote. The key to effective visualization is to create the most detailed, clear, and vivid picture to focus upon. So, guys, we can do anything. But if we just visualize and add our goals to it and we put those two things together and give it some consistent effort every day, we'll surprise ourselves. So I, I wanted to just say, have a great day, y'all. Um, y'all are blessing. I say this a lot, but you are the sunshine of my day. And I just am thankful to be a part of this. And also, I don't know if Rick came on. Maybe he'll listen to the recording. But happy birthday, Rick Redford. Hope you have a fantastic day. Love y'all. Enjoy it. Great message, Myra. Thank you so much. Thank and yes, you. happy birthday, Rick. We Thank love you. you. Yeah, love you guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Rick. Thank happy you. birthday, Rick. Happy birthday, Rick. Happy birthday, Rick. Happy birthday, Rick.